Jessica. You want to do it. You know you do. Exactly. Mind control. Jessica. We're going back to the Netflix shows, I guess, with Jessica Jones Season 1. And I, quite honestly, when I first started watching Season 1 the first time of Jessica Jones, I watched like five episodes, decided, yeah, not for me. And then I didn't watch it for like four months. And then I went back to it and finished like the last nine episodes or whatever in, you know, a week. And I watched, and now I have Jessica Jones Season 1 on DVD. And I pretty much binged it all in about two, three days. And I, it's great. It's much better than I remember. And so Kristen Ritter plays Jessica Jones. She's a private detective. She has this ex-lover named Kilgrave, who was played by David Tennant. He was very abusive. He has mind control powers, so he kept forcing her in the relationship. She thinks he's dead. Turns out he's not as much dead, and he's influenced this girl named Hope, and she gets he gets Hope in prison. They try just trying to deal with the fact that Kilgrave's still alive, he's still out there, he has these abilities, so he could take control of Jessica again. And it's just a very personal of, I need to get this person out of my life. We need to get this person away from everyone as quickly as possible, just so we can fix the problems that he's created. And it's quite honestly a fantastic TV show. It is back in the days when everyone was like, yeah, Marvel Netflix shows are great. Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Daredevil season two. Everyone had the, the, con like the consensus of, Great shows. Kristen Ritter is great as the show as Jessica Jones. She has like an equal tough and vulnerable side to her, which she plays off really well. Like she just is a fantastic job of portraying the character. She's three dimensional. She makes appropriate choices in like decision. That's just all the credit to the writing. I just really like the character of Jessica Jones a lot more now that I've rewatched the show. David Tennant is Kilgrave, but he's great. He's just powerful. When he's on screen, he's so charismatic. You just instantly gravitate towards watching him and being enamored by him, yet also going, this guy is disgusting. Mike Coulter plays Luke Cage very briefly in, like he's in, in about half the episodes of the show. He's great in there. He has his own show, which I will review season one of Luke Cage soon, I hope. But he he's great in Jessica Jones season one. There's not that much to criticize about Jessica Jones season one. It's a well-told story over the course of 13 episodes of which at the end of every episode, you've left with some sort of cliffhanger of which you want to watch the next episode. And I can just really appreciate it because it's just an overall great show. Like the mysteries that happen, they're great. The action that happens is well done. The characters, every single one of them is likable to a point where the point where you like, you start getting annoying for them and then they get rid of them for like an episode or like half an episode. And you're like, this show knows when to keep its characters around for the maximum amount of time without getting annoyed of them. You like the characters because they feel, you know, they, they feel like they have legitimate morals and they want to do things. And they, they can come off as really human, like Kilgrave as dark and as terrible as a villain he is, like by villain terrible, I mean like terrible person. He comes off as sympathetic at times and that's all the credit to the show because it knows what its audience is, it knows what it's trying to do and it brings up these darker topics which haven't really been explored in Daredevil season one or the larger part of the MCU when talking about abusive relationships, whether it be between two lovers or parent to child or, you know, siblings or, you know, law and whatnot or just different strangers interacting. Like it deals with these interactions that haven't really been touched on in the MCU. I can't remember so much for Daredevil, but definitely not in the movies up until that point in the MCU, which is like just Ant-Man and beforehand. Season one is absolutely great. I loved every moment of it. I was enthralled. I binged pretty much the entirety of it. So I will definitely say that Jessica Jones season one is part of Postacula. Have you seen Jessica Jones season one? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to come on the Platter Pie and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Well done, you made it to the end of the video. Why don't you click on one of these two videos for more content or subscribe to just be reminded of when I upload. So you know, subscribe, that'd be great.